Hi, and welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generations Legacy United Animated Universe Bumblebee and Man. These titles are a mouthful, but we have the cutest little futuristic Volkswagen-esque hatchback we've seen in a long time. Uh, I never had an animated Bumblebee, so this is my first time checking out the mold, although I've watched the show. Uh, and overall, I, I, initial impressions, I think I like it. There's some things that I think could be improved. Um, but what we do have is some nice paint up front. I like the headlights picked out in gold, the black here, the silver on the rims. Uh, my copy really seems to want to just like that top part wants to pop off which it is definitely a little fiddly getting in car mode, and that is a complaint of mine. We've got like the single light up here, the racing stripe. Pretty surprisingly good paint match on the yellow paint. Uh, this yellow paint matches the uh, yellow plastic. Like, I'd say like it's 80% there, which is still not great, but better than we normally see yellow paint, I feel. Um, we've got his little rockets, and we've got his little... Uh, uh, um, stinger piece, you know, right here, painted nicely, and they, they do come apart, and they can be put together like so. We do, unfortunately, on the back have an absence of paint. This all, you know, will get hidden in robot mode, but some some lights back here, a license plate maybe, just something else uh, would have been would have been nice, as is it does feel like, you know, the, 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 the budget people at Hasbro are like, well, people are going to look at the car like this, and they'll just ignore that, which is always a little frustrating. He is very small. This is a deluxe. Uh, this is not a deluxe. This is, you know, a, a Titans Return style uh, Legends figure. And there we see uh, they're basically the same size. Now, there is a weight difference here. Bumblebee does weigh heavier than this Bumblebee, but you can see there. Uh, it feels like they've definitely been getting away with making Bumblebee smaller and smaller. Here is Goldbug, you know, the Netflix Bumblebee mold. Uh, and there is how they look together again. You know, similar sizes, but animated Bumblebee shrink even more. Um, if we're talking about other animated figures, if you have some classics animated cars, you know... Bumblebee does, that feels like approximately to scale here, like that seems roughly right. Here is Legacy Evolution Prowl, and we can see, oh, does he, his kickstand, there we go. Uh, you know, despite Prowl being a motorcycle, him being a, a um, deluxe class uh, uh, figure, you know, he is significantly bigger than Bumblebee, which obviously is not to scale here, but it helps the scale in robot mode. So overall... Uh, initial impression is it's a nice little toy, but man, is it small. And I feel like, you know, the, the Netflix Bumblebee came with like a bazooka that broke down into a bunch of parts um, to kind of try and make up for that size, and that price point. That was only $18. Uh, this toy, when it first came out, was $10. Uh, this is now $25, and that is a tough pill to swallow. Um, we do have some special uh, uh you know we've got the ports here unfortunately we don't even have like special effect compatibility here or we the ability to like fasten it on here which is really frustrating if if we put the stinger together you know i actually haven't tested this yet Do we, yeah that doesn't work so it's it's i think i i could swallow the size a little more if we um, we got some more play pattern here, but we're not getting that either, which is a little frustrating. Transformation is very simple. He's a simple little guy. We are going to set him down because I actually forgot to compare him with some of his wave mates. So here we have two of the core class figures, and this really, I think, helps illustrate just how tiny Bumblebee is. But let's get to transformation. We're going to start out in the back. We're just going to lift up this hatchback piece. There's a little tab here that we're going to set in and then fold this back. Next we can come in, the, the, the windshield and everything has already kind of unfolded. We can just lift it up out of the way. Separate out our arms like so. Those are going to come out on either side, letting us bring our legs all the way down. Splitting up where the feet are going to be. The feet, uh, I mean, unlike, you know, traditional Bumblebee, am animated Bumblebee has like distinct feet. Um, they are going to flip out and then down, rotate down. 
and then we can flip the whole foot around and we can rotate out this piece to give him a little knee guard like so. Same thing on this side, flip this piece out, flip the foot down, flip this leg side piece around, flip out his little knee guard if we get our fingernail in there. There we go. Then we can rotate his waist because this is going to be his front side. We have these sections already out of the way with the arms. We're going to open up these panels, flip out the hand on each side, and then just flip down his chest. And there is a little tab here uh, and a little slot in his chest that's going to come down, letting us pop out that animated B head. There we go. Bring the shoulders up. And here is animated B, and like I said, simple transformation. Uh, the robot mode, I think this looks pretty dang nice, pretty cute. We got essentially the same color. Some of the unpainted panels, like on the back piece, have hidden themselves. We don't have much new paint. Um, you know, I, maybe I, it would have been nice to get a little bit more paint, um, but I recognize that like his color scheme in animated was pretty simple. He's a decently articulated little deluxe. He does have really nicely painted head sculpt. I do like that little side smile smirk. He does have a good deep neck bend and there's an extra joint in here to get some additional wiggle. He's got some tilt and all that stuff. 360 on the, oh no, I, I assumed there was 360 on the shoulder. There's not. Uh, so unfortunately the shoulder can only go that far. Oh, that is, uh, that is disappointing. Um, it can go up plenty. The cut in the wheel well lets him get his shoulder out plenty. Uh, he does have double elbows, double jointed elbows, which are nice. Uh, there is a swivel joint in the elbow. No articulation in the wrist other than the wiggle due to transformation. We saw the waist swivel. Uh, the waist can go out plenty far. It can kick up so far. I, He can kick back so far. A nice deep knee bend. Thigh swivel. And he has a teeny, ah, there we go. Okay, now he has more ankle tilt than uh, I thought. You just got to kind of get it past the snap point. And I actually probably want to pop out the heels. Very difficult. There we go. Get that one out. And from this side, get that one out. So he does have heels. Uh, he, he does have ankle tilt. Uh, so a little more limited posability than you'd be used to on a deluxe. These shoulders being the big culprit. Um, which I totally forgot about. He can hold his weapons. Uh, if you want, you can flip around a wrist and he can put in a stinger like so. He can also get it. I want to separate it. We'll do that off camera real quick. So what you can do, uh, what I was showing is you can flip the wrist around on both of these and then put the stinger pieces in. And bring his shoulders together. And that is the reason that these pieces are angled like this. It is so that you can do his stinger pose. He can also, if we flip it back around to his hands, put this back on the end of the blaster and he can hold his little rocket stinger gun combination, which is cute. Um, but again, it's disappointing that this doesn't integrate with like the existing play pattern they've had with weapon effects. Um, it seems like just a, a big miss, especially on a figure that we're already being asked to pay $25 for what is a very small deluxe with some limited articulation and a simple transformation. Not upping the play pattern as compensation for that seems like a miss, but he can hold his guns. Uh, and to show just how small he is. Here he is next to two other bumblebees. So you can see he's, he's kind of right in line here. But again, the Netflix, you know, this mold came with like a big bazooka that combined into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces versus this thing that's four pieces. Like there's a significant difference there. 
with some animated boys. There's how they look together. And again, like it, this scale kind of feels right. It's not, I'm not complaining that he's too small. I'm complaining that he's too small for the price, which is a problem. And with Rescue Bots Chase, so you can see, you know, this is what I would consider a standard size deluxe of the same line as Bumblebee. And we can see kind of the difference in size there. The The final thing I wanted to show, because I didn't show it off in the Mag Magnus, uh, you know, thing. Um, but he can also, if you wanted to, you could give him like Magnus's shield, which doesn't hold in a great position. Um, I don't think that this, in, no, that would be too small. Yeah, the the like the instructions show him like kind of holding the shield sideways, um, but even that. Oh no, wait, there is wrist swivel. Oh look at that, wrist swivel. I totally under. Okay, well that's nice. That's a nice surprise. Yeah, I don't even know like there the instructions are showing like Bumblebee holding this shield here, but I can't make it do that. Um, it, I I try and get it in place. And the, this plastic from this crossbar piece gets bumps into his forearm. So I am really confused how they got that to work. They also show like he can hold Magnus's hammer. We've seen all that stuff and that works fine. But it's just interesting that uh, I'd say so far, like I really enjoyed Legacy Evolution. Legacy United, a little bit of a disappointment. Magnus was disappointing. Boulder Crash was disappointing. Bumblebee is disappointing. I don't recommend this figure at if you're paying it at retail, if you're buying it for, for $25, I feel like there's much better ways you can spend that much money than this little guy. Unless you're like a deep Transformers animated fan and you need all the Transformers animated figures, uh, this feels like a, a, a skippable figure. You could go on the secondary market and grab yourself an animated Bumblebee for about the same price. And I think the original toy looks interest more interesting. It's got cooler curves and lines and... Uh, seems to be, you know, just bigger. As is, this guy is fine, uh, but I don't recommend it. That being said, I am not holding on to my copy. Uh, maybe if they do a repaint in a two-pack or something that went on sale, maybe I'd pick up like Wasp, a green one. That'd be kind of cool. But as is, I, I, I'm not holding on to this Bumblebee. So this video is a giveaway. Uh, if you haven't done one of my giveaways before, uh, they are pretty simple. When I do a giveaway, I announce it on a video, and then a week from then, I have the next video come out that announces the winner. Uh, you go down in the comments below and you answer the question of the day. And today's question of the day is pretty simple. I'm a fan of animated. There's been a lot of talk about animated season four. It got me to go back and rewatch the show. Uh, I just want to know, what's your favorite episode of Transformers Animated? You go down in the comments, you say you want to enter the giveaway, and you tell me the, your favorite episode, and then... Uh, one week from today, so today is the 26th, one week from, or 27th, um, then uh, one week from today is February 3rd, uh, so on February 2nd, I will draw the winner and record my review of that week, uh, and then on the 3rd, that video will come out and I'll announce the winner. February 3rd will be when the winner is announced. So go down in the comments, answer the question of the day, what is your favorite Transformers animated winner, uh, animated uh, episode? Uh, or animated story. If you prefer one of the comics or something, what's your favorite Transformers animated story? I'm down in the comments, answer the question, say you want to enter the giveaway, and then one week from today on February 3rd, the video will come out that will have announced the winner. You'll reach out to me, uh, we'll get it boxed up and shipped out to you as soon as possible. That being said, my answer, I think, is the episode where they introduced Lockdown. Ratchet and Lockdown were awesome. Uh, their, their dynamic was really, really cool in Transformers Animated. Definitely defined the character of Lockdown for me. I don't care much for the Bay vs. Lockdown. Um, and yeah, that's my favorite episode. And thanks everybody for watching. Curious to hear your answers, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye!